is Logi and welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber, baby, welcome back. So I am going to wash my hair. I'm going to do my own hair, you guys. I'm nervous because my friends and I are going out for lunch like on the 25th. My birthday is on the 21st, so my, my friends and I are going out. As you can see, I'm in the bathroom in my stuff is there that is uh shampoo and conditioner i'm just going to wash my hair i'm going to show y'all my wash day process y'all are going to see me do my hair i'm not going to tell you what i'm going to do you'll see later on thank you guys for clicking on this video i hope you enjoy it please like subscribe and press that notification bell so that you're notified every time i post a new video all right um let's get into it all right, you guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is wet my hair. I stood under the water for like a good five minutes uh, so that my hair is properly saturated and the hair cuticles are open. So the first step is detangling my hair with conditioner. I find that that's easier and that's what I prefer because I get to detangle once and my hair is more manageable when it's detangled. So yeah. I highly recommend that you guys detangle your hair before shampooing. So I'm going to part my hair and detangle it in sections. As you guys can see I am finger detangling first I feel like finger detangling before you go in with a detangler uh, doesn't break your hair as much So as you guys can see, my hair is detangled. Now I am going in with my detangling brush. I really like this one because you can grip the comb like properly and it, it really does the job. Like it goes in there. So if you guys don't have this, baby, unplug you right now. This is a, a definite steal. You guys see that? This little comb honestly has to be one of my favorite purchases. All right, now I'm just going to twist that and put it aside and move on and do the same to the rest of my head. Alright you guys, now that my hair is detangled, I'm going to wash the detangler out of my hair. And since my hair is in twists, I'm going to have to squeeze the product out. One thing about me, I'm a lazy natural. I'm not about to go back and take down those twists. No way. So I'm just going to squeeze the product out, as you guys can see. And then we move on to shampooing. I highly recommend that you guys uh, shampoo your hair in sections like I am because uh, that reduces knots and tangles and trust me you don't want that.
Now I'm going to mix the Every True Deep Conditioning Treatment, Coconut Oil and Conditioning Growth Oil and use that as a deep conditioner. I usually do like hot oil treatments but I feel like adding the deep conditioning treatment takes it to a whole nother level. As you guys could see by my face, my hair was super soft. Now I'm twisting it and I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of my head. Now I'm just going to take the rest of the product and smear it all over my head. Take a plastic bag to make sure there's no moisture or heat escaping. Tie a duke to trap in that heat and lastly put on a satin bonnet. So yeah, I'm going to deep condition for 30 minutes and I'll see you guys when I get back. Two hours later. Alright, so now I'm just going to remove everything and we're going to rinse this deep conditioner off. And just like the conditioner, I'm going to squeeze the product out. You need to make sure that you thoroughly rinse the product out. You do not want any of that leave-in conditioner left in your hair. My hair isn't dry and dull anymore. It's pretty much moisturized and I'm sure y'all can see with that shine, honey. Okay guys, so I'm back from rinsing the deep conditioner off. And now I'm about to style. What I'm doing actually is stretching my hair. My hair is super thick. So for the hairstyle to turn out like perfect and you know top tier, I need to stretch it. Because I'm stretching it, I definitely need to make sure that it's moisturized and my hair doesn't break. So yeah, uh, let's get into it. Oh wait, I'm going to use this first and then coconut oil. Yeah, so these two, and obviously spray my hair with um, water because what are you doing, honey, if you're manipulating your hair while it's dry? Don't play yourself, your hair is going to break. I actually need to get uh, a spray bottle with water, spray my hair, apply this, then seal the moisture with coconut oil. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so I'm actually using the African threading method to stretch my hair. So I'm going to attempt to um, explain to you guys. Before you stretch your hair, you need to make sure that it's properly detangled. Like, as much as I detangled it in the shower, you need to make sure it is detangled. Okay, 
okay so what i do is wrap the thread around my hair wrap the small section first and then wrap the longest part of the thread the opposite direction i hope that makes sense so i wrap the thread or wool in this case around my head and then take the shorter side of the wool wrap it to the right and then the longer section of the wool and wrap it to the left and that kind of secures it make sure that it's not too tight you guys and then at the end i'm just going to tie it like tie a knot at the end to make sure that the wool does not unravel all right so i'm going to show you guys for the second time how i do this Wet your hair, moisturize it, and then you're going to seal the moisture with oil. Make sure it's detangled. And then we're going to get straight into it. You wrap your hair with the wool. Take the shorter section or the shorter side of the wool or thread. Wrap it one side. Take the longer side and then wrap it the, op the opposite side. So you take the short side, wrap it maybe to the right. And then the longer side, wrap it to the left. That's going to help secure the wool. And then as you wrap the wool around your hair, you pull to make sure that it's like properly stretched and then again we're going to um, create or make a knot at the end to make sure that the wool does not unravel All right, now I was finishing one half of my head and I'm going to do the same to the other half of my head. So, yeah. All right, you guys, uh, I'm done. I'm tired. My freaking hands are all greasy, coconut oil running down my freaking arm. I'm gonna go eat. I ain't got time for this. I'm tired. It's like 10, I think. So yeah, here they are. Uh, I decided to do bigger sections because not nah, go baby, anybody got time for that. Um, as you can see, it's still stretched. So potato, potato. All right, you guys. Bye.